I'm a registered dental therapist here in Australia and I have worked as a dental therapist in rural New South Wales. I actually worked in a caravan along the Murray River um, from Tumbarumba to Wentworth and that was great experience. Um, but afterwards I went on and pursued an academic career and I've been in the tertiary sector for over 20 years now. I'm very lucky I was able to serve for a very short period of time in the Federal Parliament. I was the 56th woman to be elected to the House of Representatives and that doesn't seem very many people actually but uh, so it was a real honour and I represented the people of Ryan and that seat is in the western suburbs of Brisbane. I really loved being a federal member, but unfortunately, when the general election came, I wasn't re-elected, so um, that was the end of uh, the politics, but I really enjoyed it. I actually learned a lot from that, and it's about engaging with the community, and that's something that I'll really bring to my role here at CQ University, about being the most engaged university. There was a really good team of people before I arrived who did the first stages of the curriculum for the Bachelor of Oral Health. They've done a really good job and me and um, another four people, we were just being, uh, we had the opportunity to finish that off and have it accepted and we've also put in all the paperwork for the accreditation with the Australian Dental Council. But I suppose another part of the role is building the clinic and building relations and uh, with the local people here in Rockhampton. And that's probably taken a bit more time than the curriculum itself. The university is building an integrated small health clinic here on campus and it'll have a range of health uh, practitioners working in there and it will include a lovely six chair dental practice. And so from the community we'll be wanting patients and we're also wanting clinical teachers to teach the students and the students will be able to treat children and adults and a range of procedures like um, administering local anaesthetic, restorations or fillings, extractions of primary teeth, cleaning teeth, um, mouth guards, um, uh, periodontal treatment, so a whole range of things. And uh, it'll, it's very, very exciting because they'll be doing it here on campus and they'll also be liaising with the other health professional students who are learning here as well. So very exciting days for the university. The oral health therapy program is similar to other programs in Australia and New Zealand. And there's about 12 of those actually in, in those two countries. And ours will be very similar to the others where the students will be both dental therapists uh, and people probably remember those therapists like me who worked in the schools, in the school clinics and the, and the dental vans. But they'll also be dental hygienists who can work in private practice, in general practice, all the specialties. And now these graduates will be able to own their own dental practice. So when they graduate, they can do work in the, um, say for Queensland Health, work here locally. They can work in the private practices here. They might be able to do some research or join us back at the university or also work in oral health promotion. So it's uh, lots of different avenues there. And it's a very high salary. The start salaries for these graduates is about $50 an hour. So that, they could be bringing in about $100,000 a year for a new graduate, so it's really good indeed. But it's also a lot of responsibility. They are registered dental practitioners and doing irreversible um, exposure prone procedures. So it's our responsibility that we have to make sure that all these students are safe and competent to practice when they leave here after three years. We've had terrific relations so far with the local dentists in the town and the therapists and hygienists and oral health therapists, but also we'll be reaching out to the schools and the preschools, the nursing homes and community groups for the students to do some oral health talks. So I'm really looking forward to exploring a lot of those avenues and engaging with the community. I think there are lots of ways in which our students will be able to promote and hopefully have better oral health outcomes for the Rockhampton community.
because it's new, there's actually a lot of community work um, that we have to do. And because I'm new, I've got to meet all the people too. So um, it, I've really enjoyed it so far. And everyone's been very friendly and very welcoming. Uh, so the clinic will be up and running in July 2012. And the students will be working in the dental clinic in 2013. So we've got a little while to go yet. Um, but it, uh, we are definitely on track of getting there.